All right, join us today as we make some chicken empanadas. Woo -woo. Hey. It's so high. <laughs> I thought you wanted me to get high. Okay. Hey guys, today we are making chicken empanadas. So good. So this is from my island from Guam. So check it out. And the reason it took us like two weeks is because we couldn't find the rice. rice. Oh my goodness. I couldn't find it anywhere. Who had it? Publix? I think Publix eventually Publix had, had it. it. Anyway. In the South, you know what Publix is. Yeah. Join us in the kitchen. Okay, so now we have all our ingredients laid out to make our chicken empanada fillings. One of the ingredients that you do have to prep ahead of time is our achote water. Okay, so we're gonna take half a packet of the Mamacita achote powder and put that in the water. And then you wanna mix that well until the powder is dissolved. All right, now we're gonna start cooking our uh, onions, garlic, and chicken, right? Right. This is about a tablespoon of vegetable oil. We're gonna add about Half of a small, chopped, finely chopped onion. Right. right. This is about three cloves of garlic. But we love our garlic, so we're gonna add a little bit of extra. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna saute the onions and garlic in the pan until the onions become translucent. All right, so now we got our onions and garlic. Uh, our onions are translucent, and let's go ahead and add in our chicken. This is that about is one cup of chopped chicken. Yep. All right, one cup of chopped chicken. We're gonna go ahead and let that uh, brown out. Okay, so since the chicken is pretty much cooked, next thing we're gonna do is add one cup chicken broth. And then we're gonna add one cup of our chote water. So you can go ahead, at this time, we can go ahead and season with at least a teaspoon of salt and some fresh brown pepper, black pepper. All right, so we're gonna let that boil and we will be back in a second. All right, so we have our mixture up to a boil and she's gonna slowly stir in. The cream we of can rice. keep our lens from fogging out, let's see. Slowly stir in the cream of rice. All right, whisk it in. Make sure it doesn't clump up. And this is gonna thicken the mixture up. We gotta get over here. I gotta get a shot of your tattoo in there. <laughs> Get your, your good side. All your sides are good. All right? my sides are good. Well, we'll get your tattoo side. All right. Okay, so we're gonna lower the temperature a little bit. And as the cream of rice is in there, it's gonna thicken. So it's important not to burn it, right? We gotta keep right. it stirring. Some of you uh, may also uh, know of another chamorro dish that is similar to this. It's called chalaquilas. I like it, my mom doesn't like it, but um, it's good over rice too. So, and there is an option to make it really spicy. Um, I don't have uh, Donia de Nancy with me, but um, I don't wanna make it spicy just because we have other family members that don't can't take the heat or the peakiness. So now we're just gonna turn it off and let it kinda cool. Yep. And the next part is making the crust, the empanada, the dough part. So this is a kind of involved process, so we have to do it in several steps. Right. Well, we got the filling done now, and now we just gotta do the crust. Mm -hmm. Make those up, press them out on the press, and uh, hopefully fry some up later, right? Right, right. All right, so let's let this sit and cool. We'll get back with you in a second. Okay, so now for the second part of making chicken empanadas, we're gonna make the crust. 
So we're first starting off with two cups of corn flour. And then we're gonna take half a cup of corn starch. We have one packet of mamacitas achote. And then half a teaspoon of salt. So we're gonna mix this. Mix the dry ingredients first. Okay, so once you mix the dry ingredients, the next step, I'm gonna use some gloves because the achote powder kinda leaves um, stains on your hands. So just make sure you use um, film-free, powder-free gloves for cooking. Okay, so we have about three teaspoons of vegetable oil. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in. And this is one and three-fourths cup of chicken broth. Now to make the crust, we're just gonna try to mix everything in. You really just want um, like a consistency of Play-Doh. Okay, so now we have our dough. Almost the consistency of Play-Doh. It's very soft. And the next step, these gloves are kind of too big for me. The next step, we're gonna take our dough and then roll it into about a golf ball. Golf ball size. <laughs> Probably about that. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and start making our, our dough. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, so the next part is we're gonna put our empanadas together. I've already cut, pre-cut um, wax paper just into little squares. So, we're gonna take one of our balls, place it in the middle of the tortilla press. We're gonna get another wax paper, make sure it's in the middle, and then we're gonna press down with our tortilla press. You don't want to press too hard. Um, we don't want it too thin, but once you press it, you'll have a perfectly circular um, tortilla. Now what the next step you're gonna do is take our filling. You want about a tablespoon in the middle, and then we're gonna fold it into an empanada shape. So it looks like a little taco, okay? And then you're just gonna press on the outer edges to seal. And there you go. All right, let's do one more and then I think that'll be good. I think we'll get the point. Okay, so again, we're gonna take our wax paper, place the dough in the center, take another wax paper, then we're gonna press down. And then again, we have another tortilla. We're gonna take the filling, about a tablespoon, maybe in a tablespoon and a half. And then we're just gonna fold, kind of like into a taco. And then you're just gonna take the ends and press down to seal. Now can these be fried right away or do they need to be frozen? Is it better uh, to freeze them? You can, you can fry them right away, but it's really best to have them frozen just to, um, you know, form its shape a little bit better. Check back with us, we're gonna fry them up. All right, so now we're gonna fry up a couple of these. We froze them just long enough to help them uh, keep their form, I guess you'd say. We're just frying them to make the outside crispy. And now they're ready to eat. All right, we have these babies cooked up, fried up. And now we're about to taste these guys. Let's we'll see. Mmm. This is like a favorite on Guam. It's most requested. Everybody loves these at chamorro parties, fiestas, and everything. So, anyways. So good. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share our videos. Appreciate the support, and we are out of here. <laughs>